spirit, creativity, forces that drive discovery and innovation, forces at work in American industry, improving life today, inspiring progress tomorrow. To provide the best possible treatment for all patients with the most advanced technology is one of the main objectives of the Stereotactic Radio Surgery Institute. Located in Gurney, Illinois, the Institute has become a leader in the use of various treatments for cancer, including radiation and radio surgery procedures. We started uh, treating uh, patients in Waukegan about 20 years ago, and then our technology started changing. We started looking into different modes. So we decided to open up this new clinic in May of uh, 2003. At that time, uh, we were looking for some kind of machine which could treat brain tumors more effectively. Our mission of the clinic is to provide the most advanced radiation oncology services to our patients. And we do have all the gamma top machines here. The experience that we've had with treating very complex and large lesions allows us to treat things that other people just have turned down because of their inability with their experience. The other thing is that we have uh, the only Gamma Art 6000 in the world right now, which has a larger work envelope and accuracy than other systems that are available at other sites. A surgery of the brain without actually opening the skull. Does it sound like science fiction? The new rotating Gamma Art 6000 is the latest technological advancement in the treatment of brain tumors and other conditions. Stereotactic radio surgery is a neurosurgical technique that allows us to operate on brain tumors, arteriovenous malformations, and certain functional problems without actually having to cut into the patient's head. After measuring and carefully planning the treatment, the radiation is given to the target area without affecting healthy tissue. It also has other advantages over open surgery. We've had patients with large brain tumors that, for example, would, uh, if they went for the open surgery, would be in the hospital in the intensive care unit. They have the risk of bleeding, spinal fluid leaks, infections, and so forth because they're cut open, the risks of the anesthesia. Radio surgery has been around for some time, but not everyone is a candidate for the same type of procedure. That's why the Stereotactic Radio Surgery Institute provides a wide variety of treatments using the technology that's most appropriate for the patient. We not only provide uh, rotating gamma service for the brain tumors, but also we provide radiation oncology services for all kinds of cancers. If the patient comes here and requires any kind of equipment, we can tailor make that equipment to the patient's needs under one roof. With this type of equipment, we've seen equivalent or better results than we've been able to achieve with some of the previous machines. Today's technological advances and new alternatives for treatment are bringing hope to many cancer patients. We have treated now approximately 140 patients at this center. Uh, my previous experience with all the cases I've done is over 2,500 cases at this point. To me, it, it felt like almost like an MRI. I thought it was like, like an MRI. The only downside was was the helmet when they put, on, put the helmet on. That was because of the weight and they, when they screwed the helmet onto your skull there, it uh, just tight. Perhaps a level of, uh, of a 10 uh, as far as anxiety and every single one of the patients, everyone that I've treated has gone out of here and said, Marianne, it wasn't even a one. And uh, very, very surprised, you know, that they usually leave with just two band-aids. We keep on looking to new technologies for the patient's welfare. As you know, the technology is changing rapidly with the computers and we'll keep on upgrading our facilities as the time goes by.